What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over how to create your own reselling spreadsheet for your reselling business. If you're new here, my name is Miles. I'm a 22 year old full-time Amazon reseller and that's what I talk about on the channel, all things reselling and more importantly, how you can make money doing it. And we're going to be going completely through how to make your own reselling spreadsheet on Google Sheets to check your profits, ROI, and just the overall healthier business. Because for a little while when I was reselling, not at scale too much, wasn't using any spreadsheets and didn't really know how to use Google Sheets or Excel or any of that. And it made a big difference once I started tracking these metrics and really knew how much money was coming in in the business, how much profit I was making, my ROI, and all that. And just knew my numbers a lot better, right? So we're gonna go through my computer, go into my computer and actually take a look at exactly how you can do that in the free tool with Google Sheets. So yeah, make sure to subscribe below and let's go inside my computer. All right, we're on the inside of my computer now. Here we are within Google Sheets to start off. I'm gonna move myself over here. Start off, I just named this reselling spreadsheet. And I do wanna preface this, this isn't gonna work well if you're selling on Amazon. If you're selling on Amazon, honestly, the best accounting tool is just gonna be Inventory Lab. Um, if you're doing like eBay, uh, StockX, Goat, you can actually, nice thing is you can use the skills you'll learn in this uh, in this video and you. I'm pretty sure they'll actually, I'm positive Goat and StockX, or at least uh, StockX, you can directly download a spreadsheet of your sales then you can code that in or you know fix it up the way I'll see in this video. Go, I, I normally just ask them once a year or quarterly, um, quarterly, and then eBay, I'm, I'm not trying to do much eBay, but you can probably just get your stuff from them. So to start off here, so if you're branding to Google Sheets, it's completely free, it's like a pretty much just free version of Excel. Um, I'll just show you how I make my spreadsheets. So here, this item, I sell a lot of shoes, so SKU makes sense there. Source, where you got it from, uh, sale plat or just platform here and then here we have so sale price and then you can choose to separate shipping and fees I typically tend to just because um, I sell like on go and stock because there's no shipping fees which is mainly where I'm making these spreadsheets for or they like it's directly taken out of the deposit you get and then so sale price it really depends on what like what you factor in you can go either way in terms of factoring in like the platform fees into your sale price or not um it's like typically the platform takes it out immediately they don't like charge you for it but um basically we'll just call this like say you know sale price minus fees and then you have um that and then you have buy cost which is obviously what you bought the product for and you overall have your profit and then roi here and then typically like date or month you want to put in there. So we'll just start off here just showing you guys exactly how to do it. So it'll automatically show each thing in. So we'll just call these uh, Nike shoe skew. Don't have to worry about that source. I guess we'll put outlet platform. We'll say StockX, and then sale price. It gets a hundred bucks. Um, StockX, you won't like, oh, well fees, I guess 9% or whatever it is. So I guess we'll put nine dollars in here this is the first thing that's important so you want to click enter in here and then click this cell which is e2 and then the minus sign and then f2 and then now it'll automatically enter in what that is and then we'll go into how you can make that show on everything as well as soon and then by cost i guess we'll say 45 here and then you can do the same thing enter g2 minus h2 and then it'll automatically show the profit in there and then ROI would be profit over what you paid for. So this one's gonna be like, oops, you want I2 over that. And then it's gonna be, we'll make this a percentage and yeah, it's about 100%. And then all these, if you click here, you can make all these dollar signs and then we'll go here to J and make J percentages. And then you can do, you know, I, I, you'd obviously be doing this as sales come in and then sales, you can do either date or the month, whatever you prefer. And then no, another one will do 80 here. Yeah, same thing. Oh, it'd be a little less, but regardless, seven bucks. And then if you just select this and then drag it down, it'll automatically bring that down. And then you'll want to do the same thing, drag it like all the way to the bottom here. Only going to do it. So yeah, there might be an easier way to do things with this. <laughs> I'm not completely sure to be honest, um, but this is just the way I always do it. And then you want to do the same thing for these two as well. And then, you know, you'd want to drag it down preferably to probably like a thousand at the start. And it's obviously not going to show anything there, but once we enter in a buy cost here, then it's going to show the ROI there. That was a, <laughs> that was a nice profit right there, 265%. 
ROI. And it looks a little like, like I said, there might be a better way to do this in terms of dragging the formula all the way to the bottom. I'm not completely sure. Um, but this is just the way I go about it. And then, yeah, so I mean, it's pretty, there's like some more advanced stuff you can do within Excel. The nice thing is like, as you can see, yeah, and just entering in these numbers, it automatically starts to enter in. And once we get a buy cost in here, it just shows. So you just do this as sales come in. And the nice thing is, like I said, you can download your numbers directly from StockX and go and all those and just get those directly in. But yeah, so just a quick video. I'm recording this on Loom for anyone who's interested in the software um, and just how to make a reselling spreadsheet. Um, you know, let me know if you have any questions or if there's any, any uh, you know, Excel shortcuts for you Excel wizards out there that would help me create a better spreadsheet for tracking my go and stock Excels. You, you guys can let me know. The spreadsheet video. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, let me know if there's any improvements or any like cool metrics you think I should be tracking or anything like that I could make to help make my spreadsheet better. But yeah, that's what I've used. Uh, pretty much basically those, you know, basic formulas, profit, ROI, and everything to keep track. Keep it a lot better because trust me, it's very hard to know how your numbers are without having everything nicely laid out there. And some people have way more advanced stuff than what you saw in mind. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's checked out my channel so far, especially the video we posted yesterday, the Nike outlet sourcing video. You guys are loving that. I really appreciate it. And a lot of you guys commented about the audio in that video. I know I've got to get better on that. That was my first time ever kind of vlogging like that. So I'm working on it. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support posting every single day of July. Make sure to subscribe below. I will see you guys in the next one.